Hey people, and the topic I want to get into in this video is Are Caesar's Legion Evil? And what brought this to mind is I see a lot of people referring to Caesar's Legion as the bad guys in Fallout New Vegas. A lot of people seem to view Caesar's Legion as the bad people you get to kill in Fallout New Vegas, or that the main story is just against Caesar's Legion, which I feel is somewhat unfair to say. It's right in saying that Caesar's Legion is a slave army of tribes they consume or they basically take over other tribes and indoctrinate those people into having the beliefs of Caesar, which is that society should value people's worth and not their wealth. Caesar sees democratic societies as tools that the rich and powerful use to keep the majority of humanity in a state of constant irresponsibility. By keeping the people addicted to consumerism, they could effectively drain citizens of their wealth whilst rendering them ineffective. And it lets the greedy prey on the rest of society and Caesar wants to unite the world and its society to promote people on merit and not on money like democracies that the NCR provide with their steep taxation. It's one of the reasons Caesar wants to speak to the courier in the first place. And to quote Caesar, a man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and walks into the lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. It's a very different regime Caesar works under, but I think it's somewhat understandable considering what happened to 100 plus years ago, with the whole world fighting over resources and eventually trying to kill each other and destroy the planet. I think it's understandable that there are some radical ideas from people like Richard Gray, the Enclave in general, or Caesar himself. Society needs to be reformed in some manner, because democracies like the NCR just haven't worked so far. He does lead a very brutal and arguably barbaric tribe, and he enslaves a lot of people and uses women as solely procreation machines to swell the legion's populace. But as I've said, you have to remember that democracies are what instigated the Great War in the first place, and Mr House has a good quote on the matter. If you want to see the fate of democracies, then look out the windows. As I've said, Caesar realises that people and society needs to change. I mean, if the master's plan was successful, then humans wouldn't even exist anymore. They would have been overtook by super mutants, and if President Richardson or President Eden were successful with their plans, then America would be a ghost nation with only people from vaults and the Enclave surviving from the different strains of forced evolution virus. I personally hope Caesar's Legion gets revisited in another Fallout game and hopefully in a territory they already control, as seeing how normal life operates in their lands would go a long way to explaining whether their ideology is viable, in my opinion. Anyways, if if you've liked this video please give it a like and subscribe and I also want to thank all of my subscribers after I recently hit 100 subscribers for this channel and I really want to thank all of you for giving me a chance and giving this channel a chance and if you want to see some sort of 100 subscriber special or whatever please say in the comment section below the only ideas I've had are from untold free roamer and I'd like to see what other people would want me to do for some sort of 100 subscriber special also to know I'm not sure how quickly I'll be able to do it considering it's almost Christmas and it's quite busy for me personally at this moment in time but it's something I definitely will get to soon in the near future whatever it is you want me to do for the 100 subscriber special but anyways thanks for watching